from the WYLN studios in Hazleton, Pennsylvania. WYLN Evening Edition at 5.30 starts right now. Good evening. It's Thursday, September 10th, 2015. I'm Ann Gownley. A 59-year-old Weatherly man is behind bars tonight after he was arrested by Hazleton Area School District Police for trespassing at Harmon Guy Stadium in Hazleton during the girls' field hockey practice. James Lakata was a was charged with a misdemeanor count of criminal defiant trespassing. According to Hazleton Area School District Police, during the months of August and September of this year, Lakata was seen taking pictures of the girls' field hockey team at Harmon Guy Stadium during practice. Police say this concerned field hockey staff, players, athletic director Fred Barletta, and parents. Barletta requested that there be additional security and police attendance at the stadium because of his presence. Barletta also requested that Lakata not be allowed into the stadium. However, he continued to enter the stadium and attempt to take pictures of the players. Lakata was issued a citation in August but failed to respond. HASD security verbally told him not to enter, but still he failed to comply. Lakata spoke with us after his court proceeding at District Magistrate James Dixon's office this afternoon. Sir, do you have anything to say about what happened to, uh, today? I did nothing wrong. I went to the Harmon Guys football stadium to watch them play sports. And I took a picture and they blamed me for taking pictures. After being charged, Lakata is behind bars at the Luzerne County Prison for lack of $30,000 straight cash bail. Once again, there was gunfire in the Hazleton area early this morning. Just before 1 a.m., people who live near 1st and Carson Streets heard gunshots ring out. Police responded and found six empty shell casings on the ground. There were no reports of injury or property damage. A fire in Tamaqua apartment building last night. It broke out just before midnight at an apartment building at 210 Washington Street. Firefighters arrived on scene to see flames shooting 30 feet out of the side and back windows of the top floors. The upper floor of the building was gutted. Three of the four units were occupied and seven people were displaced. There were no reported injuries. The top floor of the other half of the duplex to 12 Washington Street suffered some light fire and heavy smoke damage. That side was vacant. Tamaqua Fire Chief blamed the fire on careless smoking. Police now have a man in custody charged with the murder of Samuel Vacanti. He now faces criminal homicide along with a slew of other charges. WYLN's Julie Stefanovich has more on this story. Today, a 29-year-old Hazleton man was formally charged with the murder of 52-year-old Samuel Vacanti. He was reported missing on August 31st and his body was found Sunday near Albrightsville. Elazar Yisrael was arraigned this afternoon before Magisterial District Judge Daniel O'Donnell. He stated repeatedly in court, quote, I am not compelled to perform under any contract, unquote. He also stated that he is not a citizen of the United States, rather a sovereign citizen. A press conference was held this afternoon at the Butler Township Community Center. Elazar Yisrael has been charged for the murder of Samuel Vacanti. An autopsy determined that Vacanti was shot in the back of the head. Yisrael's fingerprints were found on Vacante's vehicle, which was found on 8th and Laurel Streets on September 2nd. A cursory sweep of the victim's residence revealed what appeared to be blood on the garage floor, coupled with a strong odor of bleach and an apparent attempt to clean up. Further investigation also revealed a spent 22 caliber cartridge casing. Numerous items belonging to the victim were also missing from the residence, including firearms, knives, watches, and other personal belongings. Authorities stated that Yisrael and Vacanti's estranged wife were in a relationship for the past two years. And evidence found pointed directly to Yisrael. Also located in the vehicle was a Walmart receipt discovered inside the center console, which was dated September 1st, 2015. Video surveillance captured two black males making the purchase, one being positively identified as the defendant. Israel is charged with one count each of criminal homicide, robbery, tampering with evidence, and abuse of a corpse. He is currently locked up at the Luzerne County Prison. Reporting for WYLN News, I'm Julie Stefanovich. 
An intensive search along the banks of the Susquehanna River in Wyoming Wednesday failed to turn up any signs of 51-year-old Charles Stark. The Wyoming man went for a bike ride Monday evening and has not been seen since. Stark is a white 6'1 and was last seen wearing a long blue shirt and checkered shorts with blue sneakers. If you have any information, please contact the Wyoming Police Department or dial 911. Attorney General Kathleen Kane's attorney, Gerald Chargell, says leaks coming out of a disciplinary panel considering suspending her law license are aimed at damaging the potential jury poll in her case. Kane is charged with leaking grand jury information to a Philadelphia newspaper. Now her attorney says leaks from the disciplinary council are intentional and designed to damage her. Chargell says they are part of a broader companion to deprive the attorney general of the process which she is due, unquote. The disciplinary council has recommended the Supreme Court suspend Kane's license, saying there is a conflict of interest with her prosecuting people yet under prosecution herself. Meanwhile, there was a rally of Kane supporters this afternoon at the Capitol. The state Supreme Court heard arguments concerning Governor Wolf's death penalty moratorium today. The case revolves around condemned prisoner Terrence Williams, who scheduled March ex execution for the tire iron beating death of a Philadelphia man over 30 years ago, was canceled by the first of three reprives Wolf's office has granted since February. Philadelphia District Attorney Seth Williams challenged the moratorium, contending it is flagrantly unconstitutional. Wolf says he intends to continue granting reprives until a legislative panel completes a study of capital punishment in Pennsylvania. His lawyers argue that the state constitution gives the governor express and unconditional power to grant reprieves. Wolf also granted reprieves to death row inmates Hubert Lester, Michael Jr., convicted of murdering a 16-year-old girl in York County in 1993, and Robert Diamond of Bucks County. Marissa Crispell is back as Luzerne County's election director. County Administrative Services Division head David Parsnick said she's been rehired at her previous $50,000 salary. Her first day back was today. Crispell resigned from the position at the end of February to take a, job, a private sector job. At the time, she also attributed her leaving to the intense workload. Parsnick said Crispell did not get any guarantee on staffing levels and is aware it may not change. Crystal was among three applicants who met minimum qualifications. The other two candidates dropped out of the selection process when interviews were scheduled. Giant Martin's food markets are alerting customers of a voluntary recall of appealing fruit apple slices. Those products are being recalled are up on your screen now. Giant and Martin say they are being removed from the shelves due to potential contamination with Listeria monocytogens. There have been no reports of illness to date. Listeria is a common organism found in nature and consuming it can cause high fever, severe headaches, neck stiffness and nausea. Customers who have purchased these items can return it to the store for a full refund. Well, it's time now for a first look at our rainy forecast. Chief Meteorologist Joe Garbachik's in the Weather Center with the details. Joe, how long is this rain expected to last in our area, and can we expect any more this weekend? Well, we're still not totally done with the rain across our area. And to answer your question, yeah, it does look like we're going to start to see once again some more rain as we head into this upcoming weekend. Traveling the next uh, few hours, you can clearly see there's been rain out there. There's been some areas of fog that have been settling in across our area, so be careful of that. And here's a look at the rain. Some of it heavy at times, the yellows and the reds indicating the locally heavy downpours that we have been seeing, live 35 Skycast Doppler. A lot of the heavier rain shifting toward the east, but still some more rain as you head out toward the west. So again, we're not totally complete with the rain just yet. And it's keeping temperatures quite cool. 63 now in New Angola, 64 in Berwick, 64 in Bloomsburg, and 63 degrees in Danville. I'll talk about the complete seven day forecast, including the weekend, coming up in just a few. Thanks, Joe. Coming up next, details on two big events happening this weekend here in the Hazleton area. Plus, State Representative Tara Tuhill held her annual Senior Expo at the Laurel Mall today. WYLN was there, and tonight we have all the details. Stay tuned. That and much more coming up here on WYLN News. Stay tuned.
You're watching WYLN News with Ann Gownley, Gary Perna, Julie Stefanovich, Paula Degnan, Chief Videographer Mike Lula, Weather with Meteorologist Joe Garbacek, Sports with Eric DeBerardinis, and Gabriella Justin. Theodora's Restaurant in Drums, Pennsylvania, the area's premier spot for delicious American cuisine. Open for lunch and dinner, Chef Drew's diverse menu, including his weekly specials, certain to satisfy any appetite, and our ambiance, as appealing as our cuisine. We offer a variety of settings, indoor dining, private rooms, indoor and outdoor bars, and beautiful patio seating. Whether you want a meal out or to throw an event, from an intimate party to wedding, check us out. Theodora's Restaurant, American cuisine, world-class ambiance. FunFest 2015 is a real homecoming celebration. September 12th and 13th in downtown Hazleton, the FunFest parade will feature high school bands from NEPA, marching units, and floats celebrating our area. There is also crafts and a fantastic car show on Saturday. For the kids, there are free activities at our kids' area. Free admission, free parking. For information, go to funfestpa.org. FunFest is presented by Mohican Sun at Pocono Downs, as well as these corporate sponsors. Edgewood in the Pines, located in Drums, provides the perfect scenery in any season to complement your wedding or special event. From the spectacular colors of fall, a cozy winter setting, or the plush greens of summer, Edgewood will provide a breathtaking setting for your exceptional affair. Edgewood is perfect for weddings, birthday celebrations, showers, baptism, or any special event. From small, intimate gatherings to breathtaking formal affairs, your event is certain to be an amazing experience to remember for years to come. Celebrate at Edgewood in the Pines. Tomorrow is September 11th, and a special remembrance ceremony will take place at Holy Rosary Church in Hazleton. This is the 14th year the ceremony will be held. Organizers of the event, Tony Colombo and Greg Matz, spoke with WYLN's Gary Perna about the event on Topic A last week. We're asking all sister companies, uh, fire, EMS, police, to be there at 6.30 in Class A uniforms. Uh, at 7 o'clock sharp, we're going to be bike piped in, and uh, we're going to have a, a little service outside, uh, a prayer service. Mm -hmm. um, weather permitting, if it changes that the weather is inclined, but we're all going to go inside the church, of course. But this year, what we're going to do is we're going to have uh, some spiritual readings. Mm -hmm. uh, Father Clark's going to offer a little um, spiritual, not maybe not like a gospel, but some type of a little prayer mm -hmm. service. And um, then, of course, we're going to have uh, Vinny Tomato going to give some remarks. Um, we're going to have know. Chief Lesh go. Uh, we are blessed this year. We have a few other people involved. Anthony will give some remarks. <laughs> we also, we have uh, Mary Jo Cross, uh, who's been a friend of mine a long, long time. She was a flight nurse at uh, Life Flight. Mm -hmm. She's going to come up and going to do the national anthem as my daughter will do the Pledge of the Flag. Um, so it's going to be really a nice remembrance of the event. So we're asking um, the community, please come out and support us. Again, the September 11th Remembered Ceremony at Holy Rosary Church in Hazleton will be held at 7 p.m. on Friday. The entire public is invited to attend. Well, today marks two days until Fun Fest hits downtown Hazleton. Fun Fest, the area's largest street fair, is set to kick off September 12th and 13th on Broad Street. The annual Fun Fest parade will take place on September 13th. And once again, WYLN is proud to be the official television station of the Fun Fest parade. Again, it's just two days away, so make sure to mark those calendars. Well, with Fun Fest just around the corner, the Hazleton Public Transit System routes will be altered during the weekend. On Saturday, September 12th, buses 40, 50, 60, 80, and 10 will use the Vine Street to Diamond Avenue and continue its normal route from there. Route 20 will use Chestnut Street to Poplar Street to Broad Street. On Sunday, September 13th, there will be no buses running due to the annual Fun Fest parade and all of the events in the downtown on Broad Street. Well, coming up next, Chief Meteorologist Joe Garbacek is back with a full look at our forecast, plus a look at State Representative Tara Two Hills Senior Expo at the Laurel Mall. That and much more, including sports, is coming up here on WYLN News. Stay tuned. Honey, remember this. As you get older, no one beats the Fairway Chevrolet deal. No one. Fairway Chevrolet Route 309 in Hazel Township. Hey, no one beats a fairway deal. No one. Introducing CrossFit Drums at Cloud9 Personal Training and Fitness, the Greater Hazleton Area's first and only CrossFit affiliate. 
We still offer our traditional monthly gym memberships and one-on-one -on -one personal training, but have expanded to also offer CrossFit classes taught by multiple level one CrossFit certified trainers. We are open seven days a week, 365 days a year to help you achieve your fitness goals. CrossFit Drums at Cloud9 Personal Training and Fitness, now open and ready to get you in the shape of your life. Hi, my name is Elaine, and I'm so excited to have you meet one of our wire guys, Zach. Yeah, I want to get there fast, give you a nice, clean, quality job you're going to be happy with. You know, having a family of my own, someone was working in my house, I want it to be safe, I want it to be right, that's what I want to do for you. So whether it's just adding a receptacle to a complete whole house, rewiring... We're your guys. Give the wire guys a call. And if we're late, you get paid. The wire guys! Well, today's weather's looking great. What a day it's going to be. So when you're out there, remember, no one beats a fairway Chevrolet deal. No one. Fairway Chevrolet Route 309 in Hazel Township. Hey, no one beats a fairway deal. No one. Boy, what a difference a day makes. The last several days we were dealing with the heat, we were dealing with the humidity, we were dealing with the sunshine, we were dealing with the dry conditions, much different overcast skies, a breeze, some cool conditions, and walking outside, humidity is gone. And of course we had to deal with the rain, some of it heavy at times today. And we have some more rain in our forecast. Let's get to the map for the day. And uh, we got those downpours today some locally heavy downpours across our area. Um, some areas now in a little bit of a lull, just a little bit of uh, some fine rain occurring, but there's still some more rain as you head out toward the west. And speaking of the west, here is a look at the rain. Uh, the heaviest of rain, yellows and oranges, starting to move out toward the east and out through uh, New Jersey, eastern parts of uh, Pennsylvania for our area. I'm still seeing some moderate to heavy rain, some breaks in the rain, and then as you go further out toward the west, still some more rain that we're going to have to contend with. Really keeping things cool, we're only in the 60s, barely in the 60s across our area. We picked up now 62 hundredths of an inch of precipitation since the midnight hour. Some whopping amounts of rain, if you will, throughout the, the state of Pennsylvania. Some areas receiving over the past 24 hours in excess of an inch. Some areas, including places like uh, Seals Grove, coming in with almost 1.7 inches of rain. Keeping temperatures cool, like I said, 63 in Mount Pocono, 64 in Williamsport, 63 degrees in State College, staying in the 60s in the Wyoming Valley area. And again, there's another look at the rain, still some more as you head out toward the west. And again, that's going to slide toward the east, and we'll start to see some clearing out, some areas of fog again. Watch out for that if you're driving. And then as we go into tomorrow, looking very nice for our Friday, looking good for high school football games tomorrow night. But then after that, another batch of some rain starts to come into our area, and that's going to be here as we head into uh, the weekend. But before that, we're going to dry things out. It's going to be pleasant. Then another system comes through as we go into our Saturday, and that's going to give us a threat of some more rain and some more showers. And then even some lasting into our Sunday. Here's a look at the extended forecast and what we can expect over the next couple of days. So we dry things out for tomorrow. 72 degrees in the 70s. Some showers around for Saturday. Some more showers around for Sunday. A little bit cooler only in the 60s. 60s for Monday. Back up into the 70s heading into next week. Our daytime Pennsylvania lottery numbers. The pick two, six five. The pick three, zero six one. And the pick four numbers, three three. Two, three. The pick five numbers, one, 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 five, four. And the treasure hunt numbers, one, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Stick around. We'll continue to have more for you right here on WYLN after these commercial messages. Minutes away. That's right. You're just minutes away from a great deal on a new car, truck, or SUV from Barber Ford. Two great locations, Exeter and Hazleton. The best deals on America's number one brand are just 19 minutes from Scranton, 15 minutes from Wilkesbury, 12 minutes from Old Forge, 18 minutes from Mountaintop, and 28 minutes from Berwick. Barber Ford in Exeter and Barber Ford in Hazleton. Start your new car search today at barberautogroup.com, where nobody but nobody sells for less. Hey, this Labor Day, we know you want to save. Well, here's your chance. 
Get Labor Day savings at Grand Central. Save big on appliances throughout the store. Get huge GE savings. Right now, get up to a $1,000 rebate when you purchase select GE appliances. Plus, pay no interest when paid in full within 18 months. So get huge Labor Day savings now at Grand Central, making your house a home. Walk into the region's most trusted health network. Area senior citizens had the opportunity to receive financial information as well as health screenings today. WYLN's Julie Stefanovich has details. The Laurel Mall was bustling today for the fifth annual Senior Expo. All types of services were available to the seniors, including information on property tax rent rebates and estate planning. Over 70 vendors were on hand and elected officials spoke with attendees and answered their questions and concerns. The event was hosted by State Representative Tara Tuhill. Today we have people that, with all sorts of issues. Um, some issues are, of course, rent rebates, um, trying to get ready to going into a nursing home, what you're going to do with your estate, questions like that. Um, a lot of people complaining about the do not call list and that they need to get put on it because they're still getting calls at their house. And we take a, step, a second step of action then um, where if you are on the do not call list and you're still getting unauthorized telephone calls, we do uh, take a second step in our office where we call consumer affairs and we report that so we can try to get you from stop, stopping being disturbed in your home. New to the expo this year was a prescription drug drop box sponsored by Luzerne County District Attorney's Office. If people have old prescription drugs that they don't know what to do with, we're here to say, bring them down, we'll collect them, and we will destroy them. What we want is to get them out of the hands of people that aren't using them so they don't end up in the hands of kids, um, addicts that um, may potentially sell or, or use them. Lehigh Valley Hospital Hazleton and the Wellness Center conducted free health screenings. We've been doing cholesterol screenings for our seniors. We've been doing blood glucose, uh, giving them a lot of screenings and, of course, information about all the wonderful services we have at Lehigh Valley Hospital. The crowd is wonderful today. We've, we've seen a lot of people. Uh, they're very happy to see us, of course, because they love the services that we're providing and the information that they can get as well. The free event is a big benefit for seniors who are living on fixed incomes. A lot of uh, seniors can't afford to get these tests on their own, and it, come, it, it is a very, very great idea. I was speaking with Tara earlier, and I commended her on this. It's, it's just a wonderful thing they do. For those who may have missed today's expo, you can contact Tara Tuhill's office for year-round information and services. Reporting for WYLN News, I'm Julie Stefanovich. Thanks, Julie. Coming up next, Eric DiBerardinas is here with sports on WYLN. Now Hazel Park Spring Water is proud to announce that they are the official water of the WILN Sports Crew and available for home delivery through JW Wargo Spring Water Delivery. Since 1915, the Chrysler family has been serving the area with quality meats. The tradition continues today with five generations at Hazel Park Quality Meats, 260 Washington Avenue, West Hazleton, and Reading Specialty Meats, located at 216 East 4th Street in Berwick. It always feels good to pull my own part. Saves a lot of money too. I've never actually pulled it before, but I think it's time. It's environmentally conscious, and it can be a lot of fun. If you're a do-it-yourselfer who's up for an adventure, then come out to Harry's You Pull It. Pull your own quality recycled auto parts for up to 90% off the cost of buying new. Savings like that will keep more money in the bank, which could lead to even greater fun. Harry's You Pull It. We got used.com. The postseason is the quest to be number one. Well, round one, game one of the Governor's Cup playoffs, and the Rail Riders struggled to get out of the first inning. 
Scranton Wilkesbury in Indianapolis, and Kyle Haynes lit up from the get-go. Willie Garcia up the shoot, and Alan Hansen plates the game's first run. The Indy Bats stay lit. Bases Chuck, two outs, and Dan Gamache slaps it down the left field line. It's no man's land out there. The previous base runners emptied on the three RBI double, and the Indians have a 5-0 lead. Then one more gets through from Gustavo Nunez. The slow roller allows Gamache to score. It's a six-run first frame for the home team. More than enough damage is done. Haynes lasts just one inning on the mound, and the Rail Riders fall 7-3 to three in Game 1 of the Best of Five series. Game 2 tonight with Eric Wooten on the hill for the Rail Riders and Vance Worley for the Indians. Playoff baseball returns to music tomorrow. While high school football returns to the area for week two, we preview Friday night in the Anthracite League. In the premier conference matchup of the week, defending champ North Schuylkill hosts defending Eastern Conference playoff champ Blue Mountain. Spartan senior quarterback Bobby Grigas was injured in last week's 20-14 win over Tamaqua but he should be a go against the Eagles. Last year, North Schuylkill shut out Blue Mountain 24-0, but the gap appears to be lessened this season. Last year, Marion Catholic shut out Panther Valley 52-zip in Week 2. The Panthers hope a year of experience and home field advantage makes a difference. Schuylkill Haven and Mahanoy area should make for an evenly matched affair with solid skill position players on both sides. Watch out for Lenny Dolsky for the Golden Bears and Nick Kirshner for the Hurricanes. Lee Heighton's Wyatt Clements, perhaps the best all-around player in the league. He'll lead his physical Indian squad into Minersville. Last week, Miners could only muster one touchdown with less than a minute to go at Jim Thorpe. Those Olympians brought out their Red Swarm defense for yet another season, and Shenandoah Valley might find it tough to score this Friday. And lastly, the lone out-of-conference meeting has Tamaqua visiting Schuylkill Valley. The Blue Raiders nearly pulled off the upset of North Schuylkill in Week 1 and should be able to handle the Panthers. And the NFL season kicks off tonight with the Pittsburgh Steelers facing the New England Patriots. But next, Joe Garbacic is in with a final look at the forecast. All Care Home Care, providing quality in home care since 1986. Call and see how their team of licensed physical therapists, skilled nurses, speech and occupational therapists can provide you with exceptional service in the comfort of your own home. They also offer dietitian, home health aid and medical social worker services. You have a choice in your health care. For safe, friendly, qualified care, call All Care Home Care today and let their team begin taking care of you and your loved ones. Hey, neighbor. Looking for a safe, reliable pre-owned vehicle at a great price? Now open Burger Advantage Pre-Owned. Route 93 near the Laurel Mall in Hazel Township. Over 150 local trades from our new three new car dealerships. 100-point inspection. Free vehicle history report. Three-day money-back guarantee. Lifetime PA state inspection. Five years of oil changes. Lifetime tire rotation. Plus, we'll make your first two payments up to $1,000 total. Burger Advantage Pre-Owned. Just off exit 145 off ID1 near the Laurel Mall in Hazel Township. Burger Family Dealerships. Drive with the during these changing times, is your insurance program up to date? I'm local Allstate agent Gary McNeilis. I invite you to come into our office or give us a call. We'll help you be sure that you have the proper coverage to take care of all your family's needs at a price you can afford. Now more than ever, you need to be in good hands to protect everything that's important to you. Our team of insurance professionals and I will be honored to serve you. Are you in good hands? All right, well, we got some rain to talk about on radar. We still got some leftover rain, and then this passes on through. It paves the way for a very nice-looking Friday, but then we're going to be looking at the chance of some more showers as we head into the weekend. And, boy, things really cooled down compared to the last several days. Instead of 80s and 90s, we've been looking with temperatures generally in the 60s, low humidity values. But, again, tomorrow does look nice, and, and it looks nice for the high school football games they will be dry as we go into tomorrow for our Friday and then going into the weekend there's going to be some more showers in our forecast and then warming up next week. All right.
right, well, it still looks like it's going to be a nice day for Friday Night Football. Mm -hmm. As you said, PCN game is tomorrow, and you can watch it on PCN across the state of Pennsylvania and right here on WYLN. It starts at 7 p.m. The Hazel Scenario Cougars are taking on Scranton, and the school is asking everyone to wear your red, white, and blue, show some support, and again, it'll be live across the state and right here on WYLN starting at 7 p.m. So pretty exciting for these high school players to be seen across the state. Huge one, big opportunity, and maybe we'll see another upset. Yeah, Who knows? Hopefully. Keep your fingers crossed. Have a good night, everyone.